So a couple months ago, I made a video about how to make a music bot and it actually got a lot of attention and people actually really liked it. However, I've seen a lot of frustration from people that they actually have problems within the package that I use in the video and the package was either giving them a lot of errors or they just couldn't play any musics. So finally, I decided to talk to the person who actually made the package for the video that I made it seems that they discontinued which is kind of a shame so it was just a poor disappointment in my opinion and um, I'm very sad about that however I actually found another package that is actually more stable more performative and it's like a lot more better than the old package that I made video about so I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna enjoy it and I want you guys to just take a moment like the video subscribe to the channel and comment down below if you have any problems with the video I will probably help you over there you can also join to our discord server link in the description description so you will get a faster support all right so let's just get into it please note that everything we're gonna use or the links we're gonna use in today's video are gonna be linked in the description down below so the first thing we need to do is basically we just have to make sure that we have the requirements for this package this package is honestly one of the easiest packages so this video won't be very long for now we just have to go ahead and as you can see we have this digits version 12 make sure you have that the fmmpeg which you can simply install it by just doing an npm install fmmpeg static uh which we're gonna do it simply just now the third thing is gonna be this digits opus npm install discord digits opus and the python so if you don't know python um actually you just have to install python it's very important for youtube dl the reason is because youtube dl is actually has a lot of things like the list of the site that the youtube dl has is absolutely insane so you can just literally play anything from everywhere using the youtube dl make sure you install python and you will be all right make sure you have these things installed and then we can just stick it into the video without any problems so simply i'm gonna make a new command and i'm just gonna call it play.js and also i'm gonna make sure that i install all the requirements so there we go npm install fmmpeg static and that i'm gonna install let's go to js opus it's very important since we're trying to play music using this js and then python so we just have to go ahead and go to the python website click on the download and then we can just go down download and install it. i already installed it so i don't have to really worry if you want to check if you can install it go to command prompt do py and you should be able to you know go to the python as you can see python 3.9.1 make sure you have the latest version so you won't have any problems so now when we install all of the requirements then i'm pretty sure we just go ahead and start the command I'm using a command handler in today's video, so don't worry about if, if, I, if you don't understand anything, just don't worry about it. You just have to also uh, have, you know, some basics of the knowledge of Discord JS, so you won't have any problems. So right now, I'm just going to go ahead and install this tube, which is the important package that we need for install making our own music bot. So there we go. I installed my package and you should be able to, you know, require this tube now. So now we just have to go ahead and take an example. So as you can see, there's already an example here. Which you can go ahead and check it out. So to, for the play command, you just have to go ahead and give this a normal play command. So I'm just going to put it, for example, here, dstube.play. However, there is something you need to do in your main file. Go to your index.js, and as you can see, there's a line of a code right over here. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, there we go. The line of a code is literally right here. The Discord that just require this kind of stuff. Um, so... As you can see, I don't really gotta be worried about this since, you know, we just have to go ahead and require this tube first, which we already did in our command, but we also needed to do it at the same time in the index.js. So we require this tube here. And the next thing is making a new this tube system. So it's very important since we're trying to make a new system, the const this tube is equal to new this tube client. We're just gonna call this bot in here. And once we call it the bot, then we should be all right. I'm, the reason I'm using bot is because I'm not using client here. I'm using a bot. So that's why I'm putting bot here. So I won't have any problems. In this case, I'm going to disable search songs. Reason I'm being is because if I put it on true, then it's going to show me a list of the available songs and ask me which one I want to play. I don't want that to happen. I just wanted to give us the first best result for that. So and I think that's pretty much it. So we're, we're done. So everything got here we got a this tube um we put this here but there's one thing we need to make sure about the thing is we when we put this tube here we have to make sure to make it bot.distube the reason being is because whenever we're trying to use the bot.distube like we're trying to use this thing everywhere we want like we want to use it in next i just message that message event so if we use bot in our event i mean the basically the command then it will be all right you just have to use bot.distube and it will literally you know get these from here we don't have to put every single command that's a good thing and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a better easier step for everyone so 
Now we just have to go ahead and now do bot.dstube.play. And now it's gonna go ahead and play the music for us. However, we have to also have a good arc system. So the arc system I'm using here is basically um, this arc system here. Make sure you do have things some you have something similar to this. Uh, but we we're not gonna be rely gonna be really reliable on this one since we're trying to have some we don't we don't want to have a space problems. A space like whenever we're trying to play music, let's just say here, so whenever we're trying to play music, we don't have to like play and then hello. Hi, as you can see, this is space. We'll count this one as the arc number two. We don't want that to happen. We want everything to be in one arc. So for doing that, we just have to do cons music, for example, equal to arc dot join in then this one with the space. So this means that it's gonna join every single argument together, uh, which is pretty cool, in my opinion. We're gonna go ahead and do message, the uh, and then um, uh, what is it called? This thing and the music, and then we will probably be okay. So it's gonna go ahead and play the music for us using the argument. We want to try this out. We definitely can. So if you have installed everything correctly without any problems, then I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna be okay with that. So like. If you guys did everything correctly and installed the packages without any problems, then you should be able to act. As you can see, yeah, there we go. It seems that they actually working. So if it shows you this, then this means that you have successfully have this tube installed on your Discord bot. If it doesn't show it, then it will means that you have problems. So um, let's just go ahead and go to the dev voice, for example, here. So now we just have to go ahead and test this out simply by just doing the command that we put with the this tube. We actually the music that we want. So the music I want is um let's call this uh, no copyrighted music still and the bot is gonna successfully join the channel as you can see this playing music but it will show that you can play the music without any problem which is a good thing i'm just gonna go ahead and stop this bot from playing which is a kind of annoying song anyways so now as you can see we play the music but the problem is it didn't send us any kinds of message that uh, we're playing music right now so for doing that it's pretty simple you have to go to your index.js and then we just have to go ahead and do as you can see there's a thing here we just have to go ahead and copy and paste this and once i do this i'm going to put it in here because why not so there we go well we gotta put bot before this because as you can see we put bot here before so it's gonna you know show the information that we played which is a pretty cool thing now we just have to go ahead and do no dot again and i'm pretty sure that this time it's gonna go ahead and show you the thing we're playing right now so there we go there's a problem here oh yeah there is a thing in here as well that we have to fix so as you can see there is a little thing here that I don't know why they put that, but we don't need this status thingy. It's just so useless. Now we just have to go ahead and play this. I don't know. I forgot to say that, but still, let's just go ahead and play this. And um, three, two, one. I'm pretty sure it's gonna work without any problems. There we go. It's gonna send us the message. As you can see, it's showing us what music is playing, and I'm pretty sure um, that's pretty much it. Pretty simple. You got it. Now you have the pretty good music. But yeah, everything you want to do is just have to go ahead and edit it from here. The message that's going to send you can change the format, of course, by editing here. And that's pretty much it. So we got the play command now. We can also make it stop a command so we won't get annoying. So uh, we're also going to go ahead and check out the example. It's going to be the same thing. You just have to do like stop. There we go. Done. As, as, as easy as that. So we just go here. Use a sim sample. We're going to call the command stop. Uh, and then uh, we just have to go ahead and do bot.dstube.stop and then it's gonna go ahead and stop uh, message basically. There we go. So now we just have to go ahead and um, message the channel that's sent. Done. There we go. We're also gonna go ahead and check if the music is playing already. So we just have to go ahead and do that. Thankfully, this thing has a documentation with the full of the commands that we need. As you can see, everything we need. And there is an option for checking if the song is playing. As you can see, there's an option called Ease Playing. So this is gonna check if the music we already like, there, if there's music playing. So we don't want to stop it if there's like nothing playing around you know saying because it will show us errors and stuff like that. And we don't want that to happen, of course. But in this case, I'm gonna use the Q method because it's a lot better, it's a little bit reliable, more level than the old one, which is Ease Playing. So we just have to go ahead and do if there is a queue already then um if there's a queue already then we just have to go ahead and you know um sub the music if there is not then it's gonna go ahead and else uh return and i'm gonna also put else uh there's no queue there we go 
because we don't want to, you know, have a, lot, a thousand possibilities and it's kind of annoying. So just to do this and then put the return, easy as that. So now we just have to go ahead and check if uh, this thing works. So I forgot if here. So let's just go ahead and do no dot in. Um, let's see if we can stop the music without any problem. So I'm going to go ahead and do P no private music again. I hit the music, but still we just have to go ahead and do stop and then you can see done you stop the music but if i do stop without anything it won't do anything because there's like cue anything like that you know what i'm saying so it's pretty simple we finally finished this stop command as well we are also gonna use something that actually makes our code a little bit more reliable so as you can see i actually asked if the member who uses a command is actually in the vc so if they're not in the vc then why should it work you know what i'm saying so i said if the message that member that voice the channel is not in the vc then it's gonna say you must be in the vc to use this command same thing for the play command so just go ahead and do that one of the good things about this play command is actually this package in general is, be is because the packages actually don't need any kinds of queue system so it automatically has a queue system let me show an example remember if we in the index.js we added a method that as it into the play command which is if the music is playing then it's going to show us this playing thingy but we didn't actually add another one um, there's actually another one in documentation that is uh, referring to the add song into the queue. So if there's a new mix is added into the queue, then it's going to send us this message. We want this because we want to test if the queue system works. So we're going to use, you know, it's going to do some kind of stuff here. And I'm pretty sure that's it. So we're just going to go ahead and do no dot again. And I'm going to test if the queue system works with any problems. It should because the system is automatically defining if the music is playing or not. Then we're going to do, the, do play no corporate music. As you can see, it's going to start off with playing and the next one we're gonna play it's gonna be added this so it's a pretty good thing in my opinion i'm gonna mute this it's a pretty good thing actually in my opinion uh because you, know, you don't have to really kill yourself for just making a queue system which is a pretty very damn good thing i really like it and you're pretty f like done so you just have to also make the last command for today's video we're going to use it called skip.js you can do a lot of stuff by just checking the documentation you can just get a lot of ideas you can also add filters to the music there's already an example full example everything in documentation just go and check it out i don't have to explain every single thing in today's video so now we just have to go ahead and do the same thing we did for the stop we're gonna go ahead and also first check if the person who is actually using the command in the vc or not and we also gonna call the command skip and we're gonna also call this to the skip i think done it's just that so now we just have to do is no dots and then we're gonna also play the music let's disconnect this one so they want actually music playing because you know, the music is annoying let's just go ahead and do again p Add it to the music so now we just have to go ahead and do skip done it's playing the new one easy as that guys pretty simple you got a music file for yourself this should work without any problems and if there is a problem with you just go ahead and comment down below if you have any problems join to our discord server i can help you a lot better over there trust me and i have a full support team over there that just just ready to help people and um we're a pretty good community we always want to help people out and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i'm sorry for the people for the last video that they didn't actually they have problems with the package and i'm very very sad the package the old one had uh you know they discontinued which is pretty kind of sad so thank you guys for watching this is dashcraft and i'm out oh pierre you want to come out here <laughs> open gangnam style Turn your light.